The summer and fall spike in COVID cases in Hawaii showed up in more than just the daily test numbers. A program that tracks the flu detected the biggest jump yet in samples turning out to be COVID. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. In recent weeks, more than one-third of a sample of negative flu tests turned out to be COVID, the largest portion ever in the pandemic. According to state health data on flu tracking, none of the 520 respiratory specimens in the latest weekly flu surveillance popped up positive for influenza, meaning hundreds of people who thought they'd come down with the flu had something else. Turns out more than 37% of those also screened for COVID were positive for that instead. 52 out of 138 samples retested for COVID as part of what's called sentinel surveillance within the flu program. It mirrors what we saw in the, in the COVID testing, right? So we saw an increase in the Delta variant and increase in the surge. Um, and then what that proves is that our influenza surveillance is doing its job. The flu surveillance program has also checked samples for COVID just in case for over a year. There's usually been a small and steady trickle of COVID detected, but the jump in the past two weeks is startling. More than 30% of the subset of negative flu sampled for COVID popping positive in the middle of August. More than 37% the following week, the most so far. A lot of times if you're in the younger population um, or demographic, you may not see to get COVID tested, especially knowing that you're vaccinated. However, if you're at a doctor's office uh, for some other reason and they, you know, you're part of the surveillance, uh, then then you'll you'll get picked up um, and then you know you'll get tested for uh, the the different strains of the flu and also um, COVID. According to the CDC, both COVID and flu have symptoms in common, including fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, and body aches. We do know that the loss of sense and uh, the loss of taste and smell is unique to, to COVID. Um, but once again, if you're fully vaccinated, the chances of you experiencing a lot of those severe symptoms are, 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 are lessened to the extent that if you do get infected with COVID and you're fully vaccinated, your symptoms are probably going to mirror those of the flu. Whether these cases were vaccinated or not, tested at the same time for COVID or found out later, or are added in to the overall case numbers later is unclear. We've been asking the state health department for more details on this for weeks. We're still waiting for answers, but some of the fine print in the reports explains that patients in the flu surveillance have respiratory symptoms but are not hospitalized and have not traveled outside of Hawaii. Doctors and public health experts say it's a good reminder to take action again for both viruses. Get the COVID vaccine and get your annual flu shot. Flu is kind of forgotten right now, um, but, but we are carefully monitoring the potential impact of flu on top of COVID. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.